you met somebody on the internet, you had a great night, you got sexual, but a few days later you started to feel unwell. Not only that, you, that person stayed overnight and has stolen the little that you had, the little bit of money that you had from out of a drawer and a pair of knickers and a bra. You ended up with a deviant. You don't know who they were, where they've gone. You've just got the carnage from the night. A few days later, you're in the hospital and you've got gonorrhea, syphilis, and chlamydia, and you're not well. The doctors really have to take you through the embarrassing uh, processes of trying to clear all this up. You're not well at all. Something's happened to your kidney as a result of it. You may have to have a kidney operation. And something is also wrong in your mind. You're starting to hear voices in your mind. You're starting to struggle because you haven't got your cigarettes. They won't let you have them in hospital and you're too sick to get out of the bed. So you're suffering from withdrawals from that. You find out that your partner's been having an affair. And one thing leads to another. The next thing, the debt collectors are on your door. The debt collectors have come to take what they can. You can't do no nothing about it because you're sick. You haven't got any sickness or accident. You haven't got any sickness or accident. You haven't got any compensation. The children have abandoned you. They're useless. There's nothing they can do. Um, your parents ring up and and um, there's nothing they can do because they ruined their lives. They've got nothing to show for themselves. They went down the path of wrong decisions and indecision. They got second marriages and third marriages and things life just didn't work for them either. But you all love each other in the middle of all your hopelessness and silliness. No. 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 Little dog. Right up. And you're in a state. The priest and the nuns come through the hospital to speak to you, but you're actually scared of them. You're being taught that religion might not be the way to go for you. But something inside you is drawing you towards what the minister's saying. You had a couple of Christian partners or a Christian partner and the bum fell out of that. They abandoned you by way of the lifestyle that you chose. And you start to realize that there's more going on here than just the natural event side of life. And you start to find peace and comfort in the fact that these ministers and Christians are around and they're prepared to come and see you. And so 
the light starts to come on, you start to awaken to the fact that there's a realm that's working against you, that this is not natural, this ain't right, that there's more going on than what would be, would be considered as normal, everyday events. And you awaken. You turn to God. The minister comes along and you say a prayer with the minister. Things start to turn around immediately. Your mind starts to settle. You've got a new focus in life. You start to feel a little bit more peaceful. Your health starts to improve. You've got something to look up and study by way of who Jesus is and what he's done. You don't want the drugs anymore. Now you're frightened of the drugs and the alcohol and you wanna do the right thing by the Lord. And so, your life starts to change. Things start to change for you. You try and share your new enlightenment about Jesus with somebody else. They ain't going to listen. And everybody's shocked at what's happening in your life. You don't want to lose what you've got now. It's starting to get better. They're not going to operate and take your kidney out. The medications and penicillins and Antidotes are starting to work for you. They're starting to work for you. But most of all, you're starting to realize that there is a dark side and a light side to light. And that the dark side can penetrate into your life in a way in which it can bring you down. And you know it's not about religion anymore. You know it's not about um, you know all these rules and regulations. You've realized that it's about a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Now that doesn't matter, that's not the primary thing. That's just giving you your peace and your love and your understanding and changing the way you want to perceive life about yourself. You don't want the drugs anymore, you don't want the alcohol anymore. And you want to share this wonderful message of the light. You've had enough of the darkness. You've comprehended the darkness. And the trouble and the pain and the loss and everything that you've gone through has enabled you to do that. It's not going to fix your breakup and the loss of your relationship and all the damage that's been done to the children and everything, but it is a stepping stone to a life that's going to be much more clearer, peaceful, forgiving, merciful, and healthy for you. You've seen the light, you've awoken. Finally, you've awoken to the fact that you don't want the trouble of the darkness anymore. You want to protect yourself from it. You want to break your addictions. You have someone that's going to walk with you in the spiritual realm and help you. That's the Lord Jesus Christ. And nothing, nothing will ever 
change your mind 